positive and negative space. Today we're going to be creating positive and negative space projects. Today you'll need a piece of paper, crayons, watercolors, a watercolor brush, and water. To start, we're going to fold our paper in half and draw a shape of your choice. I chose a tree. First, you're going to fill in the positive space with your crayons. Use lots of different patterns because this will make the painting look beautiful. Next, we're going to fill in all of the negative space on the other side. Use that folded line as your guide, using lots of different lines yet again. You can use the same textures or different textures. Just make sure to only fill in the negative space or the background of your painting. Excellent! Next, you'll need your watercolors. By adding a little bit of the color to some water, you'll create a lovely paint to add to your painting. We'll start by only painting in on the positive side, coloring in over all of your crayons. You can use the same color, or like my painting here, I added a little purple and blue to my color. Be careful not to go outside the lines with your watercolor paint. You want to only fill in the positive part of the tree. Next, we're going to move over to the negative part of the tree. Make sure to follow right along that fold line on the negative side to create the crisp background. Filling in all of the spaces. Again, be careful not to cover up your positive space or your tree. Notice how I missed a spot here at the top. So I'm going to take my white crayon and add in some more patterns to my background. Then with my paintbrush, I'll go back in and fill in that color. For our next project, we'll be doing a note tan. You will need scissors, a pencil, glue, and two pieces of paper, one half the size of the other. To start our Noton project, we're going to draw out a design in, on our paper. Then we're going to cut it out. Make sure to cut neatly, because you're going to be using all the pieces. Now that we have our picture cut out, we're going to transfer the positive images over to the opposite side of the paper. Be careful, because this can be a little tricky. As you can see, I'm having difficulty keeping my pieces separated. Now that we have everything lined up, we're going to glue it down. Remember, when you're using glue, dot dot, not a lot. When you're applying your pieces down to the paper, make sure that you are creating that line in the middle. 
If it helps you, you can fold your paper in half before you apply. Continue to glue down the rest of your images carefully, making sure that you're lining up each image every time. Wonderful job. So today we made two projects. The NOTAN, where we took the positive and negative space from one image to create a whole new image. And we also worked with our watercolors and crayons to create a beautiful contrasting tree image. Start to think of your ideas now because we will be doing these next time in class. See you soon!